A very good afternoon to you all from a drizzly White Hart Lane where it's absolutely been baining bucket loads for this uh, game between um, Nottingham Forest and Tottenham. A repeat of the 1991 FA Cup final. One of four live games we're we'll bringing you on JB Sports this very weekend. And this Saturday lunchtime we're bringing you a cracker here from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Should be a, an absolute humdinger of a game. I can't wait to bring it to you live. It should be an absolute... Uh, Fantastic one to, to watch and to describe for you. But uh, the atmosphere here for this game is absolutely superb. We should have a real humdinger here. Just to remind you that we've got Burnley against Bournemouth at 5.15. And 5.20, sorry, this, uh, this, uh, later this evening. That's our second offering. And, of course, we'll, tomorrow we've got West Brom away at home to Liverpool. <laughs> that could be a... That could be a feisty one. And then on Monday night, eight to, uh, 5 to 8, we've got uh, Manchester United against Leeds. And again, that's going to be another fiery, fiery game. But uh, here at Tottenham today, the rain has come down in the bucket loads. It's a very cold and very wet day. But the pitch looks in terrific condition. I have to say that Graham staff have really worked hard on this pitch. And it should make for a very, very good football here at Tottenham this afternoon. Well, I'm hearing word that the teams are going into the tunnel. And that sh and uh, that will be the cue now to join our big match commentator for this afternoon here at a very cold and windy white at lane. I hope he's got his uh, chip skin ready. It's JB in the commentary box. Good afternoon to you. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. I've got my um, got my uh, warm clothes on. Not necessarily a sheepskin, but uh, very, very warm indeed. And you need it. You need a hood as well because it's completely and utterly wet. You said it was drizzling at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I can tell you it's much heavier than that. Nottingham Forest, the underdogs, there's no doubt about that. But when you've got players like Spurs, like Harry Kane in the, in the Spurs ranks, as we look there, it's a very strong Spurs lineup. And yet you can call on people like Lucas Moore and Hoy BA and. Richarlison to call off if things go wrong. But Ryan Mason knows the FA Cup is the last realistic piece of silverware that Tottenham can win this season. They could ever afford to lose this game today. So they've gone very strong, as you can see there, with Harry Kane heading the line up front with Son and Kuroseski, the trio up front. So they are going big. As for Steve Cooper's underdogs, Nottingham Forest, they've got a decent lineup as well. They're taking this game rather seriously. Kiva now is the former Real Madrid keeper in goal there for them. And Tino Awobi is preferred up front to Morgan Gibbs-White. No place for Brennan Johnson in the 11, but still a very strong Forest lineup. The best that Steve Cooper felt he could give. The referee today comes from Wakefield in West Yorkshire. That's uh, Bobby Madley. Brother, of course, of... Uh, plus one and a half of the Madley referee and brothers, of course. Andy Madley, the other half of that uh, duo. We're all set to go. Bobby Manley, the referee, gets us away then. Nice to see him back in big time football after so many bad years away. The referee with mental health issues and one thing or another. But uh, it's good to see him back on a football field. Refereeing a top quality FA Cup time between two sides who have won the FA Cup or one between them. And an early shot comes in, and Nabez is right behind that shot. Going to be a good field test for Nottingham Forest away from the city ground today. But you never know in the FA Cup, shots happen. Prizes happen. And you never know what might come about. Here's Gibbs White. Gibbs White with a shot. And a terrific start for Nottingham Forest. Morgan Gibbs White with a super goal. The ring's caught. For more 40 yards. And maybe a little less than that, but still what a finish that is for Morgan Gibbs White. The ring saw it but couldn't get anywhere near it. Five minutes gone. The underdogs are ahead. That's his second goal in the FA Cup this season. I don't think he'll get anyone a, a goal like that better than that. What a start for Nottingham Forest. Morgan gives White the scorer. Would you believe it? Now some for... Tottenham now was to be shaken up to their boots there by that uh, early salvo from Forrest. Danilo wins it for the underdogs now, who lead by a goal to nil, a Welney now. And he's trying his luck. And Lloris was, oh my goodness, he was flopping, it may have hit the crossbar. Well, Lloris in the opening 10 minutes looks absolutely shaky. 
in that Forest goal. And no wonder. Brody. Forest aren't giving up yet. They're going for another try. And this time, Maurice is handling. This time was more easy, easy for him. But his kick out wasn't so. And Danella trying his luck. And that's better from those. Better handling there on the last two long range efforts. And Steve Cooper noticed a weakness in that uh, Tottenham keeper. He certainly wants. Uh, he certainly wanted to test him at every conceivable opportunity, but he's done that and more. Here's Kane now, and Son! Brilliant save from Navas. Kuwaitsevsky playing it in, but too close to the goalkeeper. Well, what a rich storm, rich, rich storm is start to this game. It has really been. Nobody on the chase for Forrest. Challenges flying in left, right and centre. And we're only trying his luck. Oh! Not far away well the goal kick has been given I wasn't sure whether Luis actually touched that over the top but if he did it must have been the faintest of gloves nevertheless it's a goal kick Davis now Basuma all giving away Son has won it back Basuma again. Gives White. Danilo through the centre. And he's tried his luck again when maybe, just maybe, he could have gone closer in. 20 minutes gone, which is which is just whizzed by in his cup tie. And still, you think uh, that Forrest would be. Um, Forrest to play like the home team was expected to play. Between the better team. Now then, Kurosevsky! Brilliant save from Navas, that should have been the equalising goal. Kulisevsky got through, but Kira Navas. Well, he's played so many big Champions League games over the years for Real Madrid. He knows what these games are all about. And he showed just why there. Now Angola for Forrest to try another <laughs> shot from long distance, which goes saving over the bar. But if, I, if Steve Cooper was to offer you a one-goal lead with the goal they got from Gibbs White at this stage, I'm certain, I'm certain he'd bite his hand off. Oh, he'd bite your hand off anyway. 25 gone. Tottenham nil, Forest won here on the match for a Saturday afternoon. It has been a remarkable start to a game of football that we could not have envisaged seeing when the teams came out at 12.25 this afternoon. Sonny three on the right, left. King waits in the middle. So too does Kuratevsky. Some goes all the way. The Tottenham fans want a penalty. And I think Bobby Manley was interested, and I think quite rightly so. I think that's good, sensible referee. This gives right for Forrest. Mangala, good ball. Aurier now. Just reminded in the, in the fourth round, like the third round, if it's level after 90 minutes this afternoon. No penalties or extra time. There'll be a replay, should it go that far? If it ends the draw here, it will be a replay at the city ground. And we can ask time. Diane now for Tottenham. Kurosevsky coming forward. Poro. Still Poro now, big chance. Oh, wonderful save by Navas and a corner to Tottenham as we approach the final 10 minutes of the first half. Poro could have hit, I mean, Poro has hit this with so much venom and Navas, well, thankfully for Forrest and for himself, he didn't find that too hot to handle. Here comes the corner into the area. Up go the heads, it's a Forrest one that gets it out. Skip now for Spurs. Wengele, great save. And Forrest get it out. Navas made another good save now. Down at the other end, we've got Danilo. He's got uh, two tweets. Well, he's got two to his right, and in the end, he went for goal when it wasn't the best option in the world. And the Spurs fans trying to cheer their team on as we come up to the closing stages of what's been a highly competitive first half here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But at the moment, it's going for its way this uh, cup, cup fourth round time. Kurosevsky now for Tottenham. 
challenge is coming in thick and fast Worrell's there Mangala's there too Aurier stopped by Eric Dyer started his career as a defensive midfielder and then just stopped within it uh, centre back for some, most of his uh, career he was Spurs all with England shot comes in deflected oh dear tell you what Spurs are making this look very difficult but here's a well now for Forrest on the break again they try now up from long range this time Maurice isn't there being fooled Felipe Lucati Rodi oh he did well and he played the ball in that time and it's away once more Gain on the break now for Tottenham Kasuma and a Brighton player of course going to get Harry Kane through the centre and he's done it Harry Kane good save as we go deep into stopping time for which we've had more than the two minutes that was allocated Harry Kane there probably the last chance of the first half coming up now from this corner a good save as we approach that half time whistle Son with the corner Wrote it in there towards Kubatechi, he took it down nicely on the chest, but Forrest don't get it out properly. Shot comes in, it's hit a defender and then hooked out, and there goes the half time whistle. So Forrest lead for a goal after five minutes, a terrific goal for Morgan Gibbs White. And Kane has been denied on several occasions, so to his son. Tottenham had a frustrating first 45 minutes. Half time then at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, it's Tottenham Hotspur nil. Nottingham Forest 1. We'll be back after the break. Friendly.
last year, more international passengers chose to fly with British Airways than with any other airline. In fact, last year, British Airways planes traveled over 150 million miles. That's further than from Earth to Mars and back. Welcome back to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's time for the second half and we get underway. Forrest leading by a goal to nil. Go on five minutes from Morgan Gibbs White, giving Forrest as swing stand a passage through to the fourth round. Of the fifth round, sorry, the FA Cup. If it ends the draw after 90 minutes, no, re no uh, extra time or penalties. There'll be a replay at the City Ground in a week and a half time. There was an earlier foul which the referee let go there, Bobby Madley. And Mellon Lardy's going to get a booking for that. This was a challenge on halfway. Oh dear me, that looks a very bad challenge indeed. <laughs> Bobby Madley has had every right there to put the book out. Oliver Skip coming off. Here, yeah, Emil Hoybier will take his place. To Ryan Mason, the Spurs boss. Who takes the role till the end of the season, of course. Of course. We'll have to see what comes about that one. They're throwing the top them now. Well, they didn't come to much. Kuliseski to Hoybier. Kuliseski. And played in towards Kane. And again, good defending from Forrest. They have defended really well. Back five and the goalkeeper. Especially Navas, who's made a couple of marvellous saves. Down to Noah, down the other end. Here's a save for Lloris. Certainly there's been no shortage of drama here this afternoon. Van Gaal coming forward. Hitting that well. But again, Lloris behind it. goal is going to be important here at the Tottenham Stadium if Spurs get it you feel that this game on if Boris get it well, that's going to be a mountain for the Spurs to climb again this time in the way to Basuma now Son Spurs fans trying to roll their team on and you get the sense really that they'll need the support more than ever really when you think about their Right at the moment, this is the last time, this is the last thing they can possibly win as a team this season in terms of a, an actual team trophy. We'll talk about Harry Kane leaving maybe for next season. And two suited Manchester United by a minute. We're certainly looking at him. We're certainly scanning him out and maybe if we don't win a trophy this year, Spurs, that's probably what he needs. 20 minutes. Well, oh! 20 minutes played in the second half and that was the first real effort of Forrest to had a goal again Mangala trying his run there from a more of 30 yard range Kuliseski off and we'll see what now Romero looks like he's come on Tanjuma who's come on here's Awoni the defender and then Gibbs White on the turn did really well and he's just scurrying a little bit there Aurier he struck it well oh well, that almost had a racing knot. It was a terrific hit, and the goalkeeper had to be at his best to tip that out. Gibbs White with the corner now for Forrest. Well, when he got one to his name, Paul played in, and a free header, and a goal for Iwone! A goal and an assist for Morgan Gibbs White, and Marnie makes it two, and Forrest a one foot dash, say it, in the last 16 of the FA Cup.
The Tottenham marking was absolutely preposterous and pathetic. Look at that. A real shambles at the back from Tottenham. And a Wani and a freedom of the area to smash it in the header in to make it 2-0. Now, Tottenham have a mountain to climb. 67 minutes gone. And Nottingham Forest. If they can hold out for 23 minutes without conceding two goals, are going through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And what a fill it for them. Battling relegation and battling it so well. They're keeping their heads above water, but they're having a cup run as well to go with it. But here's Kane now, misplaced pass. And Garland as well. Gives White. So the tip of Felipe in order that's by the way. We don't want to give him any disservice at all, by the way. Basuma. Hoy BA again. Danjuma on the far side. Kane is offside. Ringgit. Well, ben Davis is coming off. I have, to, I have to say, I think Ryan Mason had no other choice but to make that change. They have to go all out now in this last quarter of hour. Otherwise, Tottenham are out of the cup and out of the running for any considerable piece of silverware this season. Give it away to Janjuma. Janjuma shot. And the substitute can't make the impact off the bench as he would have worked there. Navas with an easy save. Spurs still coming forward. They have to now. Kane! Oh my word, he's hit the bar! Yates is booked for a challenge in the build-up to that. But how unlucky was Harry Kane there? Then looking at the challenge on, uh, on Basuma in the build-up. But Harry Kane smashed a terrific 25-yard effort. He beat Navas, but then boshed right off the crossbar and over the top it went. And I suppose that typifies the bad luck that Spurs are having at the moment. Dropping like a stone in terms of league results out of the top four in that. And now dropping out the FA Cup. But here's Richarlison. Son now in the area. Richarlison again. And he's in the blank of a bar this time. And the post and bar. And it just will not go in for Tottenham at all today. They found Navas in imperial form. And then when they do beat him. The frame of the goal comes to Forest Rescue. In that sort of an afternoon. The Simon now for Spurs. Now Kane. Son! What a Juba Robert. Saved again by Navas. And Forest are holding on. They've held on as firmly as they can. They've had their post and bar hit a couple of times. But they've still got that two goal buffer. And it's worked so hard to get. Gives wider the one with the goals. Five minutes to play. And Spurs are in again. They've won a corner. Some forcing the rest from Kieran Navas. Spurs have to go all out to keep themselves in the FA Cup. Some's corner. Four minutes to go. Up goal the heads, it's a Forest one that comes out on top, then Navas has to punch on the second ball. And then the ball knocked away, up to Danilo. Forest now just want to get it over halfway line, which they've done, and now Gibbs White is in the clear. This could really settle it now. It's Morgan Gibbs White, he goes round the keeper, but the angle's too acute, and it's kicked off the line. Forest will be not too disappointed though. I don't think it was going in anyway, but... <laughs> I don't think uh, Gibbs White will mind too much. Forest won't mind too much. They've got a corner out of it and they can take as much time as they And look at uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium now. Look at it. It's emptying like the plague. Would you believe it? It's been a, a, a wretched afternoon for Spurs and it could get even more wretched. But then the race comes up with a save. But they've got four minutes to find two goals. Never count them out at this stage, but... Very hard to see a way back, even if it's the FA Cup and things, magical things do happen in this competition. We've seen that now. But Forest now weren't given a chance here. Travelling to Spurs today. They've done more than that. Yes, they've rolled their luck a couple of times in this second half. 
But my word, it's Gibbs White trying his luck. Oh my goodness, the goalkeeper was absolutely nearly cold, cold blooded then. And wrong footed. And the whistle has gone, and Nottingham Forest have won it. And Q boos from the Tottenham fans. They are, fun, they are absolutely furious with their team. But Forest will be pleased, Forest supporters will be pleased with theirs. Goals in the side of our time from Morgan gives wide a spectacular 35 yard thunderbolt. And then a only one a near post header with Retchy Tottenham marking as well, by the way. Kane in the post, Sonny the post. It just wasn't Tottenham's day. It's finished here in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Tottenham Hotspur nil. Nottingham Forest 2. We'll be back after the break. Just get the bags, boss. We'll never make that plane, sir. Nonsense. Our carriage awaits. Right. We need some cash. Barclay card. You're not in Macclesfield now, boff. You can use Barclay card in cash machines all over the world. Airport. Mm. All you need is your pin number. No es mi coche, mano. Yo no te puedo llevar. Además, se ven con las ruletas. And thankfully, all the instructions are in English. Si, muy bien. Good. Right then. Si. There we are. Couldn't be so okay. careful. Let's go. Well, sir, how many? Come on, Bob. Chop, chop. Si. <laughs> Ready, sir. Yes, amigo. So, Bob, any cash for that Barclay card of yours? Where I'm going, I can't be sure what they'll be having for breakfast, so I'm packing my own. I'll definitely be wanting bran fibre, no added sugar or salt, and 100% whole wheat. So it can only be shredded wheat. Will you be needing anything else, love? No, with this lot and a bit of luck, we'll be fine. Shredded wheat and bite size too. There is no better cereal. And a warm welcome back to the match where not in a forest have gone through they've gone through 2-0 against Spurs so it means Harry Kane does not win another trophy or can't win another trophy with his boyhood club so disappointed for him but Forest were brilliant the perfect away performance sees them through to the fifth round as for Tottenham they've got to concentrate on trying to get back in the hunt for Europe now that their last chance of trophy have absolutely ebbed away Okay, that brings us to the end of our coverage this afternoon from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's uh, give you a quick peek what you can see on JV Sports a bit later on. Where you, we, we offer you a terrific tie between Championship High Flyers Burnley under Vincent Company. There we are, Vincent Company against Gary O'Neill's Bournemouth. We are starting to fly a little bit in, in, in the way this season. It's exclusively live to the JB Sports from Turf Moor. Plus, we'll have a, a roundup of today's action, including Aston Villa against Blackpool, against uh, Morecambe, sorry, and Everton against Blackpool. Not to mention a recap of today's victory for Nottingham Forest, who have come here to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and have absolutely took Spurs to the cleaners. From us all, we'll see you at 5:20. Bye bye. <laughs> 